Hi everyone, happy new year. I am filming this and there's one day left to go in 2018. So I thought it was about time that I talk about what I am bringing into the new year as far as planners and journal setups. So I have a lot, fair warning, I love keeping a lot of different notebooks and a lot of different setups. Um, it's not something that's overwhelming for me. So just don't be surprised because I have, I think I've got like 17 different setups, but I've included like everything, not even things that would be planner or journal related. If they've got a leather cover on it of some sort, I'm just throwing it in here. So this stack right here is my everyday carry, which I, I, I always talk a lot about this, but I have three things that I'm doing for 2019. So I have a wallet, an on-the-go journal, and my planner. So I was previously just in a nano size, and the only reason that I'm in this pocket size right now is because that plastic dashboard card holder, it cracked and it completely split, and so it's broken. <laughs> so, I, you know, oh darn, I had to move into this pocket, which is a waypoint and from Chic Sparrow, and it is absolutely gorgeous. But I'm gonna have to see about getting some kind of uh, maybe fabric insert for the Nano. I don't know, we'll see, that's just down the road. So I'm using that as my wallet, and just FYI, I'm not gonna go through in detail the setups of each of these. I'm just gonna kinda tell you what I'm using them for. If I already have a setup video for any of these, I'm just gonna link them all in the description in case you're interested. So this is an A6 size hand stitch leather tee. It's in the mahogany color. And I'm using this for on the go journaling. So this is a Nanami Cafe note. And it just, I bought the clear cover that goes with it. And I love writing. It's so therapeutic for me. Um, just, just the act of writing, just running a pen across paper is something that's so soothing to me. So when I'm out and about, I will write in here about just anything, a very stream of consciousness, just whatever I want. And then the third thing is my planner, which is a Hobonichi Weeks. And I have not shown this cover before. This is my first Sojourner and it is the Mitzpah leather and I really, really love it. And I am going to, my next video that I put up it, this week, it, it will be about uh, the Sojourner and all my thoughts and feels on it. So I just have my current, uh, or well, I just have my 2019 Hobo Weeks in here. And this past year for 2018, I was doing my on the go journaling in the back pages and I have since decided that I would like to keep my journaling separate from my planning. So this is why I have this other setup. And for the back pages in here, I'm just planning on using that as an inbox. So anything messy that I have to jot down really quick while I'm on the go, I will do it back here. And then I will transfer that information wherever it needs to go. So I will talk about this setup when I do that other video. But yeah, so these are the three things that I'm going to have in my bag. And then as far as daily things, I have a few setups that I use on the daily. So you guys are gonna kill me. Let's move this guy. <laughs> look oh my god yeah you guys are just gonna kill me so anyway I have um, so these are the current weeks that I'm using so I journal to my kids and they each have their own Hobonichi weeks and I write in them every day just a couple of sentences um, it it barely even takes me five minutes just to write in both of these because I'm just jotting down something really quick and simple and this has been so successful for me this year. I was really, really surprised and just really grateful that I found something that works because when I get a big collection of these all filled up and my kids move out into the world, I want to give them a stack of these journals from me to them. And so I will be putting these away and moving into the 2019 ones. I think it goes like this. 
yes so these are the new ones that I'm bringing into the new year so excited I'm so glad I started doing this and then these two so this is my daily journal it's my daily written journal and this is the standard size in the mitzvah folio from sojourner because I just had to get to is crazy but um, this is a Taroko shop Enigma notebook that I it was a five size and I had it cut down to standard at FedEx um, you can also try Office Depot um, they're cheaper for cutting down notebooks but mine refuses to do it anymore so I have to go with FedEx but having a daily journal this is the one I'm currently in it's just a 160 page Tomoe River paper insert from Paper Penguin Co and I have just been using Traveler's Notebook inserts all year and I want to I wanted to move into a thicker nicer notebook and I just write about daily events so whatever happened that day I write it down I've been doing this the longest and I love it I really can't tell you why I love doing that so much other than I you know it just helps because I love writing anyway it's just something really obvious to do to write about everything that happened on a day so anyway I've got this all set up and ready to go and this doesn't take me much time either I mean I could spend 20 minutes on this if I want but I can just spend you know another five minutes on this you know so with my kids journals and with this I mean that's like 10 minutes and then I have this I have not shown this cover before because I will explain really quickly when I bought this for my on-the-go journal I was apprehensive about this color because I had only ever had this light tobacco color so I was like well I don't know which one to get what if I hate you know mahogany and which I don't I absolutely love it so I just decided to get both and then I would get rid of one of them thinking that you know Christmas was coming up and it would be really easy to gift one of these or just whatever I had a plan right so I was gonna keep mahogany and at like the last second I decided to put my Midori MD one day one page diary in here and I have talked about this in my battle of the a6s video and this is what I'm gonna be using for like kind of self-care type stuff and I I talked how, about how I didn't want to cover up this cover because I'm oddly attracted to it. I just love the creamy color and just the simplicity of it. Midori has fast become one of my favorite brands. I just absolutely love them. And I was trying to find a clear cover for this so I could still enjoy this cover. And because it's so thick and because the cover is a bit wider on all edges than you know a true a6 size it was the this did not fit well into like hardly any cover so it, and even if I could slip it in the back like this it would close like this or something because it was just it's just too thick and the covers are just too big all the way around so I slipped it in here and I was like okay it's probably not gonna fit and I was like oh crap so it lives in here now and I can enjoy this cover and enjoy this cover and I love how absolutely thick and chunky this thing is. It just fits magically in here and I I haven't, well I've started in December for the month, the monthly spreads, um, but the daily spreads don't start, you know, obviously until January. Um, but I've just been logging like my steps for now in the monthlies. Um, they're abysmal at the moment, but whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm a little sick right now, so that's my excuse. But yeah, so I'm keeping this quite simple. There's no decorating that's going to happen in here. Um, obviously, this would just explode and get way too thick if there was decor in here. So I just have been keeping this by my bed and at right before I sleep I will just log my step count and then for the day spreads the daily spreads I'm just gonna use pen that's it I don't want this thing to bulk up and I'm just gonna probably start writing about uh, maybe just like one thing good that I did for myself that day or just something like that um, I don't have any hard and fast rules for this I'm actually excited to see this evolve throughout the year so yeah, so these three things are 
the daily tasks that I have for myself. And I've been doing this for most of 2018, these two, and it's been great. So I don't feel much pressure to add this one. These all just kind of take minutes a day. So yeah, so we'll see how that holds up in the new year. And quickly, I'm gonna get these ones out of the way. So these are very practical setups. These are both Chic Sparrow wide size traveler's notebooks. They're both deluxe and they come from the branded uh, listing. And this, they're both Outlanders. This one is the color Claire and this one is Highland Green. And this is what my husband and I use for finances. So this is not something that like I keep around with me or like at my little art desk or whatever. This stays by the computer in our office and I only whip it out when I'm doing the bills every month. So, you know, it's not decorated. It's just got moleskins in here. It's just whatever. And then this one, I have a family member that I'm the main caretaker for, for a medical condition. And so this is like, uh, it just has a Jibun Techo in it where I I have to like log things. I'm literally in this like three times a day. I This pretty much just stays out and open like this so I can log things when they happen at certain times and blah, blah, blah. So this has some more of the same uh, mole schemes in it as the, the green one. And I just summarize appointments and just, you know, all the details that you need to keep track of if you're keeping track of something complex. But yeah, so it's not like a super fun setup or anything, but it is extremely practical. And both of these are quite necessary. And I don't have multiple covers or anything. They just live in these covers and that's what those are. And everything else that I'm gonna show you, these are things that I do not work in daily. I just have them around and I work on them when I want to, um, for how long I want to. So no hard and fast rules. We will do the narrows first. So I have these. So this first one is a traveler's company, traveler's notebook in the brown. And this is a permanent setup. I don't switch covers for this. This is what I use for YouTube. Uh, I've talked about this before, I believe. I just have three inserts in here and they each have a dashboard, but they're really basic. And this monthly is just where I put in all of my scheduling when I need to film stuff and blah, blah, blah. I have a brainstorming one for ideas. And then I have like business notes for YouTube because I am just so technologically inept. I, I have to like write things down and just like step by step how, how to even like upload. It took me forever to figure out how to make a thumbnail. Like I just can't. So this is for the YouTube things and I love having it in here and I have no desire to change out of this. I just, I, I really love this for some reason and it's so basic. So this one is hand stitch leather tee. This is the first one I've ever I ever got from her, and this is in the light tobacco color. And I've made this into a, I guess a commonplace book. So this houses information that I need to reference a lot, or things that I learn that I want to keep around, and I want to know where I wrote that. It will all be in here. So. When I was buying a laptop, my dad had to give me a rundown on like what the heck RAM is and just how things work and what to pick and what to get the most of. And so I was trying to keep all that straight and I was jotting it down. So that's in here. Uh, this is a Robiki notebook and I just got it off jet pens, but I'm keeping addresses in here. Uh, I just got a slew of Christmas cards from people and I was like, okay. And I wrote all their addresses on here and that was like the perfect time to do that. Um, so I just have like random note papers where I was just taking notes randomly before I had this set up and even back here. So I may transfer some of these into this book to keep it organized and together. I have some receipts over here for when I've mailed packages. And so this is very, I guess, kind of important, very practical stuff, just things that I wanna reference over and over. And I really wanted a dedicated place for that. So that will stay in here. 
And this last standard size. Oh, and by the way, this is a uh, Midori MD notebook. It was a five size and I had it cut down at FedEx. And it's just the grid and that's it. That's it for that. And this is a standard size folio from Meadowgate Leather. And this is the dark forest leather. And I had this custom made. I cannot get this paper off. And it, because the listing for this leather was for a traveler's notebook, but he very kindly made it into a folio for me. And this has a stalogy that has obviously been cut down. And I'm using this as my brainstorming book. So I love, love, love having an insert or a book or something for brainstorming. I'm a list writer. If I'm working out a topic or brainstorming about ideas or anything, I will make a list. That's just naturally what I gravitate towards. So this is full of lists of all kinds of things. I have Christmas, a Christmas section. I've got a wish list and a to buy section and I'm starting to put some tabs in. And yeah, I just kind of made this really bad pencil board to put in here. And uh, I've been using this for a little bit now and I love having it in its own separate thing. Um, if you don't know, I had a traveler's notebook for a lot of 2018 and what I did was I deconstructed that and all of the separate inserts that I had, I made them their own standalone book. Um, so uh, most of these things I already know they work well for me because I've been in them all year and I'm just kind of changing it up by giving them their own space and their own cover, mostly because I love the leather. And so those are the standard size ones that I'm in. And these ones are the A6s. So these are both Maverick in the Golden Brown by Chic Sparrow. And this is the first run of folios. She's going to be releasing a revamped version pretty soon, I think. And this is a classic traveler's notebook. So it doesn't have any of the pockets. And I'm using this one for, it's just holding a Midori MD notebook in A6 size. It's just the blank one. And I'm using this for memory keeping. So all of the photos that I have on my phone, I just print them out of my sprocket, make a little page for them. If I get any bits of ephemera or anything from orders or ticket stubs or whatever, uh, I will document it in here. And I just absolutely love it. This is the, the cutest, chunkiest little brick. And then for the folio, I just have another Stalogy. So this Stalogy is the A6 size and I have this like vinyl decal, <laughs> first coffee then the things. And I love that it's black. I was watching a video, um, SM Plans, Sierra, she plans in a Stalogy and she put a 2019 black decal on hers and I was like, I kind of love that. So I found this one in my stash, it's just from Michaels and so I did that whole black on black thing and I love it. But this is what I'm using for my media journal. I kept a media journal in 2018 and it was in this, uh, just a pocket sized field notes and it took me forever to fill it up, but I really enjoyed having it, um, especially with um, shows like Netflix shows. I forget about everything by the time the next season rolls around. And so this is just a fun way for me to write my thoughts and feelings on things I watch or read and it's a good recap for me when I'm you know going into the second book or the second season or what have you so I love this setup it's just uh, it's so fun for me to work in and I'm really really happy with it and I have since darkened up the stitching even more on this and I just I just keep loving it more and more so I'm really glad that I did that and the last, so we're, we're coming up on the last chunk. Thanks for, for sticking around for my excessiveness. So this last bit are all gonna be A5s. So I haven't talked about this in a while. Um, this is my cousin, my Hobonichi cousin, Avec. And this is what I use for homeschooling, but not much has changed and it's very, it's not very pretty, it's just pretty technical and I'm just jotting down, you know, what we did and I, I had this in an A5 Maverick from Chic Sparrow, 
but I found that I prefer the pocket configuration and just all of the, you know, like extra bells and whistles of the Hobonichi cover. So I just have the black Hobo cover with the cover, the illustrated cover on cover. And I just, I've been very, very content with this. So I've just been working in it. I just haven't talked much about it, but it is what it is. And I'm really happy in it. So this next one, I I have a recent video for this, and so I won't go into it too much, but this is an A5 size hand-stitched leather tee in the tobacco color, and this was actually a gift from Tanya, so she sent this to me for free, which is like, I still can't get over it. But this is my decorated journal. It's a thought journal. I just work in it when I want to, but Anything that I get that's maybe a little bit more special or something, and I don't want to put it in here, I will use it in my thought journal. And um, like more personal letters and notes and things, I, I want to keep them in here. But turns out I have enough things to document that this thing still gets filled up. So this is housing a Elia note. And it's just, I have the dot grid kind, because everything's dot grid, you know, I just, I love it so. So this is, and it has the back pocket here that I just adore, and I don't have anything in it, but I just love looking at it. It's just one of those things, you know. So there's that, and I have one more thing. And this one is ridiculous, and I don't know what's going to become of this. And I would just like to say that I feel free to uh, abandon any of these setups as I as I choose. Like, I, I don't have any problem with that. Although most of these things are kind of tried and true for me at this point. But this is a new one, and I don't even know what my problem is. So this is that A5 size Maverick that I got for my hobo cousin. And... You know, I just had it laying around because I like the Hobonichi cover better for that purpose. And there was no way I was getting rid of this because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So what ended up happening, because I thought, oh, maybe down the road I will end up in some kind of A5 and I'll be glad that I kept this. And so this is an Archer and Olive notebook. And I can't even remember how many pages this is. I think it's 160. But anyway, I saw this. Um, on Brittany's channel, Carrots and Olives. She did a video reviewing this, and this is just really great for bullet journalers because it has crazy thick paper, like nothing is gonna bleed through or shadow through this thing, it's it's insane. And these notebooks kept, kept going out of stock where they only had like a couple of covers, cover designs available and everything else was sold out. And I really, really, really wanted this hunter green one with this gold embossing on it. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it looks with the Maverick. And it came back in stock, so I scooped one up, and then it was quickly out of stock again. So I was like, oh, I don't feel bad about it. Uh, but I didn't have a, a real purpose for this. I was just getting really attracted. I, I was watching too many bullet journal videos, and I don't know why I quit watching them when I stopped bullet journaling. And then I started watching them again and got myself into so much trouble because here we are. And this is not a bullet journal. I have not, I don't have any uh, inclination to bullet journal. I've not read the bullet journal method by Ryder Carroll. Um, I just, I'm so happy in my Hobonichi weeks. I don't need another thing to use for planning. But I really loved how people were doing like I was watching too much Amanda Rachel Lee and all of her like really simple setups and that she would just like fill in five pages at a time and how satisfying that was looking to me. So uh, we're just um, welcoming 2019 in some kind of way. So I don't even know what I would call this. It's maybe like a, a pseudo Bujo or something because I'm kind of memory keeping in here. I don't really know. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, I'm sure. So we, we will see. But this this is, I don't know, this is what's happening at the moment. And yeah, so that's everything. And it's a lot, it's a lot. But um, I just like having different things to work in. I get a little bored, I think, when I'm just pulling out the same cover and the same setup. 
and separating everything into their own notebooks has really kept my excitement alive in using these things and everything is so different and you know everything has a different feel and smell and texture and it's just it's just so fun for me to be able to enjoy multiple things at once. One of the things that I think is changing for 2019 is I'm not hopping from cover to cover. For 2018, I had a, a lot of traveler's notebook covers, especially in the standard size, and I was constantly switching out the cover as I got bored, but I'm finding so much more contentment with having separate books for everything. And I'm really, really drawn to having just one cover for the one notebook. And I uh, couldn't tell you what, where that's coming from, but that's what I'm feeling right now. This is not typical, I don't think, to have these many setups and these many books going at once. I totally understand that. Um, if you do, do similar to me and have like lots of things going at once, let me know because we should be best friends. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is everything for me. I hope you guys have a happy, happy new year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.